In this video, we're going to take the SD card from the Vixia camcorder and we're going to import it into Final Cut Pro. But we're actually going to create what's known as a camera archive from the SD card. And that will actually allow us to quickly take the video off of the card and get it onto the hard drive so that the SD card can then be reused right away. You can see on the desktop I have the Canon SD card icon here. So what I need to do is open up Final Cut and we've got a new project and event set up here so everything is kind of blank and ready to go. So what we need to do is do the same procedure that we would for bringing in or importing our video. So I'm going to click on the import media button over on the right, the left hand side here. And you can see that we've got some of our footage that's available here on the SD card. And what we need to do is instead create a camera archive. I could import this footage in my normal way by clicking the import selected button over here, but I'm going to bring everything into the hard drive and create a little package. And so I go down to this button on the left hand side here that says create archive. And what I need to do is, is navigate into a folder where I'm going to save these. And I've got one called Final Cut Camera Archives. And I'm going to name this ITCC April for the event that I've got. And you'll notice that the archive size is going to be 1.3 gigabytes. So I click on create. And what will happen is this will start to slowly look like a clock that fills in or a circle that fills in. And it'll take a little bit of time depending on how much footage you have on your SD card. But once it's done, it will be a, a single package on the hard drive that can then be read just like you had the SD card in the machine. So when this is done, we, we will have created an uh, essentially a duplicate of the SD card with all these clips and footage on the hard drive. We can then take the SD card out and use it in our camcorder again right away. So you'll notice that this eject button now appears and that just means that we can't we have finished ingesting the video creating the archive and we can eject the the Canon icon or the Canon uh, camera icon. Okay? So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to also hide Final Cut Pro. Actually, let me close the import window and hide Final Cut Pro. And I'll open up the hard drive really quick and go to the Movies folder. And under Final Cut Archives, you'll see we have this one folder or package with 1.3 gigabytes in size. And this is our camera archive. So this is identical to the SD card that we have in the machine. And you'll notice that over on the right hand side here, our SD card is, is gone. It's off the machine. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to Final Cut Pro and I'll click on the import media button again. And <clears throat> I want to make sure that I select the local hard drive and wind my way to our movies folder. And then the Final Cut camera archives is here. And you'll see we have ITCC April as the camera archive. So I double click and you will see here are all our clips that we had from before. So it looks just like the SD card, only this is on our hard drive. And that's the, that's the advantage of creating what's known as a camera archive. Hope that helps and thanks for watching.